Um, I love American education. Um, I spent a lot of my childhood in schools, primary schools in the States, and so I applied for EDP because it's at one of the best universities in the world. And by going to one of the best universities in the world on a short, concise programme, there is absolutely every guarantee and no doubt that whatever you learn will benefit you. Because I felt that um, I run a consumer products business and it's been a really tough it's a tough thing to do with not the relevant background and I thought I've got to learn. I absolutely will learn and I'll be able to go forward not just with what I learned for this business but for future businesses as well. But the other thing that made me apply was that as a small team, a small, we run a really small business, the training budget is very small and it's difficult to get training which can benefit everybody. And I felt very passionately, and I still do, that by sending me on this on the EDP course that I would then be able to come back and empower my own team with what I had learned. And, and I really believe in empowering and passing down the information and that has been exactly what I've done. And so basically, we've all been on EDP. <laughs> my expectations of EDP were very much met, apart from the one where I was told I would never have been so exhausted in my life. Um, I think when you run an SME, you have incredible stamina. And, uh, and although emotionally I was exhausted after EDP, I felt that the hours that we worked were very much on par with what I had, what I do running an SME anyway. And so I would encourage anybody who's applying who's told that it, they won't be able to, to stand it from a stamina point of view. If you run, a, you run an SME, you absolutely can do it because you work incredibly hard when you run an SME. Um, from the learning point of view, absolutely met. I think it was probably more academic. The, pro the EDP programme was probably more academic than I had anticipated, um, but I really enjoyed it. I found the lectures, gosh, it was a long time since I'd sat for two hours in a lecture theatre. The lectures, I found them too long. Um, but absolutely scintillating. The, the good ones were just brilliant. And I actually found myself after some of the good ones, Skyping back to the office and saying, we've just learnt this, implement it. And for me, that was an amazing experience. I mean, it was just brilliant to actually learn things that were so relevant to my business at that very moment that it was worth sending the information back within five minutes. My top three takeaways from the EDP experience are never start a business on your own which is very, very good advice, and in fact, advice which I took from Bill Ollett's book before I got there. The second one is believe in yourself, which was something I absolutely learned when I was there, when I passed on responsibility and then wished I'd taken it back. And the third thing was about lifetime cost of customer value and cost of customer acquisition, which is something I brought straight back to our business and we're remodeling the business as a result of our time at EDP. Can you tell me a little bit more about the last one? What does it mean? Well, for me, um, the EDP theoretical lectures about cost and about cost of customer acquisition and about lifetime values of customers was absolutely fantastic for me to apply in my business where we have the top seat chair harness which is distributed around the world by a, number of, uh, a good number of distributors and how the margins vary enormously depending on the distribution channel and learning at EDP about how much time and energy we put into acquiring those customers and then how much profit we get back from them was something which really made me think hard about the model of, that we use as, in a business and whether it was the right one for us. So it's opened up all sorts of conversations coming back and all sorts of financial spreadsheets as well, an incredibly worthwhile exercise.